Hey guys, it's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. If you're watching this video, do us a favor. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment on the video. There's going to be a lot of celebrities in this. I don't know who they are. You can tell me how dumb I am. Uh, this is going to be a very fun break. If you've never seen Pop Century from Leaf before, it is uh, 12 boxes, four hits per box. It's celebrities, uh, sports stars, politicians, uh, movie stars, anything you can imagine. A lot of people sign for this. It's very fun. And uh, everyone in the break is going to get a box all to themselves. This is personal boxes. Uh, and without further ado, we're going to go ahead and randomize your names. Scott down to Calvin. Copy those. And uh, this will be the order that uh, we open your boxes in. So if you're in chat with us, you can pick the box. I'll scramble them up, sit them on the table. You can pick which one you want. Or if you're not here, we'll pick one for you. Uh, we're going to go six times. That's what we do on Fridays. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, Jamie from Georgia. Down to Calvin from Wisconsin. Six times, Jamie down to Calvin. All right, and uh, give me just a second, guys. I'm going to stack these on the table. I'm going to number them. And then you guys can uh, pick your box. Again, uh, make sure you watch. Uh, I do have a playlist of all the Pop Century's breaks we've ever done since we've been open uh, the past five years. So go check out that playlist on YouTube. I'm creating playlists to uh, make our breaks, our past breaks, easier for you guys to find. I've got a Gold Rush playlist. I've got all of our vault breaks. There's about 40 of those, or 50. I've got uh, a lot of the mini helmet breaks and things like that, so check it out. Really like the box design this year. Pop Century. Looks like uh, you're walking into a fancy movie theater. That's a joy. All right, let's number these bad boys. Really cool box design. I do want to mix them up. I don't think it matters, guys, but I'm going to shuffle them a little bit. Put two there. That one here. This over here. Doo -doo -doo. It's like the coconut game. All right. That's good enough. If you have x-ray vision, it doesn't matter anyway, right? All right, so I'll label this box one, two. I'm sure you guys can't see this. This this Sharpie, although it's brand new, it really stinks. Four, five, six. Yeah, I can't see the... Seven, I know. Eight, nine, ten, eleven... 12. Sorry you guys can't see that. My other Sharpie was a little bit a little bit easier to see. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Kind of. You can kind of see the numbers. Um, let me go ahead before we start. Jamie's going to be up first. Let's get a good screenshot of this bad boy. That's it. All right. Jamie from Georgia. First up. I do not like this Sharpie, just FYI. It's like a, like an ink pen. Jamie is taking number seven. All right. I wouldn't have done that, Jamie. That's not what I would have done. He just saw me grab that box, so he did it. He's just trying to be like me, George. Everybody's trying to be like you. I mean, I understand. I understand. We all have goals. You know? Things we strive for. Mm. How true, how true. Hey, let me do the screenshot without the plastic. That's actually really bright. I like that. I like that better. That's going to be our screenshot. I don't care what we get. Got one uh, straggler down here at the bottom. Uh, I don't want to do the cut auto first. I'm going to do that last because it's more exciting that way. All right. It is. 
Eileen Quinn. Eileen Quinn, help me out. I'm gonna I'm gonna look uh, uh, look up some of these three of five. Eileen Quinn. Little orphan Annie. Yep, exactly. Yeah, Annie, 1982 film Annie. We educate too. All right, this is James Marsters. That is really hard to see on the wave parallel. James Marsters. Perfectly cast. It's like when I go fishing. Three of eight, James Marsters. I am very dumb at some of these folks. Uh, actor, musician, singer, comic book writer, audiobook narrator. Hmm. Dragon Ball Super and the video game Dragon Ball... Uh, Fighter Z, and I remember him from movies, man. I remember him. All right, this is first Pop Century Auto Offset. I think his uh, autograph's Offset as well. Offset, got a rapper there, Jamie. Jamie's big into rap. Four of six. Yeah, uh, we got a Charlie Sheen 101 the other day. Jamie ended up... Uh, Picking that one up, I think. I'm not going to look up Offset. I think he's a rapper that I don't know anything about. He is. And we have Donald Trump <laughs> Jr. <laughs> Jr. <laughs> you, you can Jr. But Cut Auto Trump Jr. I have a feeling Jamie's going to have this uh, at a card show, probably. Probably selling that at a card show. We will uh, get the Cut Auto Trump Jr. Congrats, Jamie. That wasn't a bad box. Scott SMI is up next. Scott from Oklahoma. We'll give you a few minutes. If you if you guys aren't here, we'll just pick up pick the box for you. I always go top left if uh, you guys don't pick. Scott from Oklahoma. Scott's got uh, three spots in this one. I think so does Jamie. Actually, appreciate both you guys. Scott taking box 12. Going against the grain. Box 12. All right, 12. Good luck. It's a really fun break, man. Sorry it didn't fill up on time, guys. No, no, no boom for Junior. Um, we, we, we didn't want to get into an argument. Yeah, like a political argument. We wanted to avoid that. Is that four? It is four. Okay, that's what we want. And we've got uh, Pop Century Tiana Taylor, Mojo Silver. Actually, they would have done black letters there. It would be a little bit easier yeah. to, to see. That is a pro set. Musk? Is that Pro Set Musk? That can't be. Oh, music. Musk? I'm like, is that your cologne? Don't look at me. Musk. It's George's cologne. It's music. It looks like Musk. Tell me that doesn't look like Musk. This is the part in the comments where people tell me I'm an idiot. That's okay. Um, That is numbered to 15. 5 of 15. Tayana Taylor. Just. Let me look her up. Wasn't she in Home Improvement? Uh, no, she's an American singer, actress, dancer, choreographer. With Pharrell's Star Trek Entertainment. Interesting. Musk? George's Cologne. Congratulations. All right, this is Noah Hathaway. Noah Hathaway, perfectly cast. Is this the never-ending story? Is this a Treyu? Seriously? That's awesome if this is a Treyu. A Treyu. Noah Hathaway. I'm a little bit jealous if that's a Treyu. It is. He's so old now. That makes me sad. Oh, that's so cool. Never ending story. Oh, that's awesome. 
All right, knockouts. The the font you can't read. Kate Jackson. Kate Jackson. Kate Jackson. Great autograph, by the way. Is that on card? Well, I think that's a sticker, but it's hard to tell. Kate Jackson. Uh, Ten of twenty. Ten of twenty. She was in three. Uh, the, was it the? Uh... Go. Sabrina and Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels, that's it. There you go. Yeah. And we end out with Mike Tyson. Boom. Iron Mike wearing a polo. Why is he wearing a polo for? It's hot outside. Come on, Mike. Pink and he's wearing a polo. What is this, an Easter picture? Mike Tyson, nice card, man. Uh, two of five. That is probably the least intimidating picture of Mike Tyson uh, that I've seen. That's a good box. Uh, Joel, no cut auto in that one, which is has been weird. Joel said when it got to him to give him... Where were you, Joel? I know you're there. I saw uh, he said eight. Eight's what he said. Pick eight. It is right here. Box eight. You'll sell me the Noah card? Man, I can't buy cards from customers. That's one of our policies, man. But I am jealous. If you put it on eBay, I can bid on it. We bought. I'll, I'll buy on the trading post or on on eBay if you put it on like a platform where everybody can see it. But we try not to just buy directly from a break. It's just not a good look. I appreciate it. I I think I may pick one up. I don't, I don't know if I'm what parallel I want to pick up, but that guy's pretty cool. Thanks for offering, man. Thank you. All right, Atomic. This is Moneybag Yo. Yo. Moneybag Yo, first uh, Pop Century Auto. Some of these uh, rappers are going for big money, I hear. Somebody emailed us the other night and said, hey, one of the autos I got in my box that I didn't even care about too much is going for like 400 bucks. <laughs> so... It's like, okay, that'll work. We've got Eric Estrada. There you go. George has always had a dream. He's telling me about where he gets pulled over by Eric Estrada. You're so full of... But we won't We won't go into it here, George. This is not the time nor the place. One of four, Eric Estrada. George wants a little chips and salsa. All right, and we've got Lindsey Morgan. Morgan? Morgan, I can't read that. How do you read that? Uh, knockouts, Lindsay Morgan, purple wave. You put your glasses on. You can't read that font. That is the worst font. I can font. read it from here. Because I said it. I can see it. Lindsay Morgan. That's clear to see. Yes. That's the, wor the, that's the I, worst font ever. It's a bad font, but I can see it. It's a real bad font. I mean, we, look right there. It looks like it looks like a, a kindergartner cut uh, out of yeah, the newspaper. Exactly. You know, like when they ransom someone, they cut like the letter L out of the newspaper, and they're all I, mismatched. Yes, I do understand the you understand? concept here. Eight of eight. Lindsey Morgan. I just bring it up because you went to the. Did you type in Lindsey Morgan? I typed in Morgan. Leave me alone. You only typed in Morgan. Uh, she is. She was on Walker, Texas Ranger, apparently. The reboot. Interesting. All right. It is awesome that I can't read this. Go ahead. I won't even say it, George. You can read that. You love the font. Go ahead. P-A... No, no, no. You know the font. Go ahead. You can easily read that Move font. Move the card a little closer. It's No, it's real easy to read. Go ahead. I That one's terrible. I got you, didn't I? Caught you lying earlier, didn't I? No. George didn't. knew the last one because I said it. Hold on. No, I... Go ahead, George. P-A-N... The, the something E-R. Hey, go ahead, George. That's easy to read. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> it's easy to read. Uh, Tayden Pantery. Pantery, yeah. So it wasn't even a word. Three of six. It's not even a word. George is going to go off on you one day, Dane. That may be true. 
Um, she is a knockout, so that I agree with that. Um, Pan Et. I have Hayden. Oh, it's Hayden Pantatieri. Uh, actress, model, singer. Lead roles is Claire on the NBC superhero series Heroes. He just said, man, it's easy to read that font. I just wanted to say, hey, I, read it to me. I, it's so easy. It wasn't easy to read that one, but worse, I had no idea what the name was. Yeah, well, it's easy to read when you know what the name is well, already. I'll try, try me on the next one. When I tell you the name, you can read Don't it, right? Don't tell me the name. Got him. Caught him. I got him, Jamie. I caught a man trying to act like he had it going on. Sterling's up next. Sterling. Wasn't she married to who? Who? Arguments about font readability. That's right. You got to put a better font than that. Uh, what is Pokey doing? I don't know what's happening back here. I don't. I don't really understand. Pokey couldn't stop. He was running and couldn't stop. Yeah, he fell. Uh, Sterling next up. I don't know if Sterling's here. He's usually, Sterling usually uh, lets us pick for him. Going to give you about 15 seconds, Sterling. I'm just glad you're here to read that font for me. I'm glad. Because you, when you told me you could, I was excited. Well, because the next card. you should be. And then I thought, you know, it's good that he can read this next one for me. The last one was terrible. Oh, it was the, the font okay. was different oh. on that one. No, I, I don't know if it was different or not. It was terrible. Sterling, this is your box. The knife has touched the box. It is yours. What a fun break. Hit that thumbs up button. How many likes do we have, George? We have 69 viewers right now. 57. Help us out, guys. Hit that like button if you haven't already. It is shaped like a big thumb. All right, I'm actually going to do the relic first. You got a, our first relic is a uh, nice one, Selma Hayek. Is that her air filter? I don't know. What? I think it's. I think it's her air filter. Uh, one of. I don't think it's an air filter. One of People five. Don't walk one around of, with air filters on. One of six. She might. She's well, hot. That's she might one need of the a stupidest filter. things I've ever heard. She might need a filter. She's pretty hot. God. It looks like an air filter. <laughs> Maybe it's a robe. I don't know what it it's is. It's part of a robe. I hope it's something. I'll go with that. Uh, Selma Hayek to six. Uh, this is Leslie Jordan. Hey, Leslie. That looks a little tight, the uh, suit. I don't think that's right. Leslie Jordan. Mojo Purple, 2 of 10. Let me look up Leslie. I like it's the last name. It's her carpet. Name. That's right. It's her carpet, yeah. Leslie Jordan. Uh, Beverly Leslie on Will and Grace. Um, hmm. There you go. I recognize this guy. Thank you, Grace. And next up, I love the signature. Very nice signature. Luciana Paluzzi. Paluzzi. It's a Luciana Paluzzi we're having here. That is a one of five. This is going to be old school. Why are these? Why can't it be Bob Smith? These are really hard to spell. They are, especially when you can't see them. Oh, you can see them all, George. I'm not worried about that. Uh, Paluzzi, uh, Spectre Assassin, uh, Fiona Volpe in the fourth James Bond film, Thunderball. There you go. Bond girl. And Harvey Keitel. Let's give that one a boom. Harvey Keitel. That jacket fits a lot better than the other guy. <laughs> Oh, it's the uh, padding. Yeah, it's the padding. 15 of 15. I don't know what that was. I think it was her air filter. I think it was her cabin filter from her car. All right. Um, next up is going to be John Cam, illegal in 48 states. Oh, he just passed away, Harvey Keitel? Oh, man, may he rest in peace. That is makes me sad, actually. John Cam, that's a big hit. I did not know he passed away. 
Probably because you touched the card. Probably because I touched the card. Elroy says tonight's live stream would be scary. Wow. It is the live screen, stream. George, we're not questioning if we're having a live stream. That's not, that's not questioning. We're not questioning that. Oh, the other guy? The guy that didn't fit? The guy that had the tight... Oh. Well, Harvey Keitel's still alive then. That's good. I don't know who passed away, but somebody passed away here. It's very sad. So uh, John Cam said too. Wait a long time ago. I was waiting on you, George. Yep. Good. John Cam picking the number two. Makes sense to me. I can't keep up. It's late. It's Dynasty After Dark. We're I'm, very frazzled. I'm hungry. George is always hungry. I'm not always hungry. George is hungry every second of every day. We have a cut auto. Not true. Just like the fact that you've got glasses, or you should have glasses because they gave you George, a prescription. George, you can't read you the didn't. darn font either. Yeah, it's the I font. Don't know. If you just would get your glasses, you could read it a little bit. Who is better. that? Read the name. M-U-N-I-Z. It's got a shine on it. M-U-N-I-Z. Yeah. Uh, M-U-N-I-Z, nice. Frankie Munez, I believe is how you say it. Is he Malcolm in the middle? Is that what is that what's happening here? Sure. One, a four of four. I think it's Malcolm in the middle. That's a good show. He looks happy. Boy, he boy, he's getting old too. That makes me feel weird. Uh, Malcolm in the middle. American actor. Hmm. All right, Green Ice. That is a Stephen Tobolowski. 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 T O. Stephen. B O L O. Tobolowski. S. No, it's the W S K Y, right? Six of seven, George. I can't spell it for you, too. Can't live your life, George. There you go. I, this guy, it's close. American character actor. Oh, I've seen him in several movies. All right. Um, Groundhog Day. That's him. That's Ned. 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 Phil. Phil. Ned. <laughs> All right. We got Little Yachty. Yeah, we do. Little Yachty. He's probably got a big Yachty. Pro set wraps. Two of 12. This is the weirdest night ever. All right, and we have a cut auto of John Lithgow. We've actually, our, it's our third one to get out of two cases. Nice John Lithgow. I'm a big fan of his. Ned. <laughs> John Lithgow, that is a boom. There you go on that one. All right, Scott SMI, you are back to back. So if you want to tell me your two boxes, Scott, I'll go ahead and get them both. Mm hmm Ned? <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, three on the first one. So what are you doing later tonight? What? <laughs> Didn't you remember how it gets rid of it? Oh, yeah. He's like, uh, are you... Are you busy? busy later tonight? And he's like, uh, yes. I forget what he said. It was funny, though. And then he hugged him eventually. He's like, yeah, are you doing anything? Yeah. And, it's like, and that's the last time he bothered And I was like, uh, uh I got to go. You got three and nine there? Three and nine. Three and nine. Three squared is nine. Smart pick. I need. Are you? I know. I got you, George. Okay. Oh, Scott, SMI, box one. Oh, that's a cut auto. We're gonna put that on the bottom. Oh, get out of here! Don't need this. Really? We have a dual auto. We're gonna do first. Mm. Oh, <laughs> this is George's fantasy right here. Eric Estrada and Larry Wilcox. Pulling George over for a speeding ticket. Congratulations, George. Pink double feature auto. A little chips action there. There you go. Two of five. That's a boom for sure, George. Now 
can I hand this to you? You can hand it to me. There you go. Thank you. Great. Wonderful. Yay. <laughs> this live stream needs to be pinned or burned and never talked of again. Probably true. Denise Richards. What? Nice. Boom there. Uh, this box is pretty good. Pretty good. 25 of 25. Napoleon Dynamite. John Heater. Uh, this is a better picture than the last one we got. A little Napoleon Dynamite for you, uh, John Heater. 15 of 20. Oh, that's a great one. And here it is. Suzanne Summers. Get out your thigh master. You could probably cr crush vegetables with that. You should probably wash she them out. She made a lot of money on that. That's what she, she did. She did. Suzanne Summers. Scott again for box nine. That was a good box, man. George liked the chips hit. Jamie said he'll buy the chips card. Jamie had a dream also. Getting pulled over. It's not a dream I want to hear about. Ooh, got our first ticket here. Wow, that would work well. I'm a fan of this uh, band too. This is going to be a cool ticket. I'm going to do that last. Oh, not that kind of ticket, huh? All right, we've got Rob Riggle. The man of many commercials. He's a funny guy. Rob Riggle. Nice auto, too. Pink parallel. Two of ten. Rob Riggle. Oh, I think this is going to be a one on one. I am not. Oh, seriously? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I could. I don't want to be politically incorrect or get in trouble. Someone is going to pay a lot of money for this card. Mm. <laughs> it would not be me. But somebody out there that's a big fan living in a certain area is going to love this card. This is a one-of-one one gold vinyl. Wow. Honey Boo Boo. What? <laughs> is this our screenshot? <laughs> Honey boo boo. Leaf is growing out of her. This is very weird. I don't want to be here. I don't like being here. Oh. Honey boo boo. <coughs> oh, man. Mike Love. What? Mike Love. Singing to you there. Mike Love on the scope parallel. Honey Boo Boo. That's a, a, yeah. Four of six. I'm going to look up Mike Love if I can think. Mike Love. Hey, if you're going to get a gold vinyl, Honey Boo Boo, man. Maybe the only one in existence. I'm not, not kidding. Uh, Mike Love is a singer-songwriter who co-founded the Beach Boys. Oh, yeah, he's Kevin Love's uh, uncle, right? Co-founder of the Beach Boys. Sure. Kevin loves uncle. Dane's new crush. Thank you. <laughs> Elric said, good lord. We have a thumbs down. Okay. Honey boo boo. Uh, I like this band. I actually like uh, the second band too. Oh, it's a three for all. Oh, cool. I like all three of these. Big fan of heart. Cheap Trick and Joan Jet and the Black Hearts. How about that ticket? Uh, back in 2016. I like Heart a lot. Heart's a good band. Oh, it's just two, right? Uh, it's Heart and Cheap Trick, you can put. Yeah. Heart that's... and Cheap Trick. But it's Joan Jet and the uh, Black Hearts as well. It's a rock three for all. I put Cheer. That's a cool ticket. I don't know about that box. I feel very weird about that box. Uh, nice hits there. You actually got some good boxes, Scott. Uh, I don't feel very well, but you got some good uh, good hits there. Jason G-A-T next up. I feel a little strange right now. Jason from Maine, I believe. M-E is Maine, correct? Yes. I want to live in Maine. Not in the winter. Every other time I want to live in Maine. 
Anybody else like heart as much as I do? I really like heart. That was weird. Honey Boo Boo Super Fractor. Yeah, not too often you get a chance Gold to say vinyl. that, right? Boo. Honey, honey Boo Boo is your screen. I want to know what that, if you put that on eBay, I want to know before you put it on eBay, Scott. I want to watch that thing and see where it sells at. <laughs> I want to see what people are willing to pay for the one on one Honey Boo Boo. All right, box four. How do you know about it's fucking four? Oh, I see. Well, because he said it in I chat. See. Okay. Well, he, then he said correct. I didn't know what he said correct about. But then I saw. He the said form. George was dumb, and then he said yeah, correct. That's true. He said correct after that. You like Cheap Trick better? I, I like Cheap Trick. I'm, I just think Heart Heart really talented. Good good lyrics too. Good songs. Pretty much good everything. Good guitar. All right. Who is this? Oh, it's John. Pancal. Where do I know him from? He plays for this Bar. can't be this can't be right, Chicago. Does he? I don't know. Four or five. John Pancal. I'm, I'm not that can't be right. I think he invented the pancake. Yeah. John Pancal. I don't think that's right. Uh, American actor. No, nah, yeah. Uh began his career on stage. Uh played in Aristocrats. Oh, I recognize him. He's on he's on like some law and order maybe as well. Okay. Jamie, you think the uh, Honey Boo Boo is going to go for 500? It might. I'm, I'm dead serious. There's not many out there, I'm sure. Growing Up Graphs, Susan Olsen. Is this a, a Brady Bunch thing? Yeah. Susan Olsen. Is it just me or does she have a lot of makeup on right there? Uh, 13 of 15. She's kind of scaring me a little. I don't like the movie It. I don't like, you know... The Joker's kind of scary. Uh, Susan Olsen. Is this a politically incorrect break? I'm just wondering. Uh, Susan Olsen, uh, Cindy Brady. Cindy Brady. All right, Pink Crystal. Uh, big fan, Sarah Palin. I like me some Sarah Palin. From Alaska, Sarah Palin. Come on, boom. Sarah Palin. Six of eight. You'll screenshot it. Yeah, let me know, man. Let me know what that goes for. Uh, I'm going to be tracking that. Let me know when it goes live. I want to watch it before it ends. Send me an email or something. There's our email address. All right, and we've got Simu Lu. I think it's Lu. I don't know how to say that. Simu Lu. Uh, 19 of 20. Let me look uh, him up. Go ahead. Canadian actor. Oh, he played in that uh, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I don't know if you guys saw that. It's a, I think it's Marvel. So yeah, yeah. I remember seeing that preview. So uh, yeah, Honey Boo Boo. <sighs> All right, uh, Pop Century, next box, Jamie from Georgia. Sorry you missed out on the honey boo-boo, Jamie. Wow. What a weird night. Kind of a fun night. Got box five, six, ten, eleven. Six. All right. Box six. I know. We do need more pop century. I'm getting worried, guys. We used to do like five cases of this stuff. It's it's sold slowly. I, I kind of don't know if I should order it next year. It's it sells slowly. We had to wait. That kind of tells me that you guys don't want to do it anymore. So I don't know. I'm I'm torn. I feel like if we can't do two cases of something and it fills immediately, we probably shouldn't be doing it. But you guys let me know. Maybe I just need to list it with maybe a couple week lead time or something. Maybe you just need some more boo-boos in there. Maybe we need more honey boo-boos. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson relic. There you go. 
three of three. I don't know if that's his sock. Could be a napkin. It could be his handkerchief. It looks like there's a face in it. Is it just me or are there like little folds in here? It actually looks like Samuel L. Jackson. It does not. Look, there's a face in it. They're really... It's like the bread thing. You got to turn it a little further. It's like the bread that had a face in it. Yeah, I don't think so. It's like Jesus. All right. Howard the Duck, baby. Ed Gale. Perfect, perfectly cast. Nice. Green. Draft your hits serpentine style. Make it cheaper. Oh, how many spots would you have? 20? You get two hits each? 20 spots? I had trouble filling 12 spots. Can I fill 20? At a little bit cheaper? I don't know. Trade the honey boo boo for the rainy moss shoes. That's that's an idea. All right, next up we got Leah Thompson. We know who she's Marty been. McFly's mom. That's a boom. You always had a thing for Leah Thompson, didn't you? Not really. Yeah, you did. You told me before that you did. No, I had a thing for you, Jennifer. You, Jennifer who? Marty's girlfriend, Elizabeth Shue. Yeah, I can understand. Elizabeth that. Shue's yeah. smoking. She was smoking. Smoking. Leah Thompson can go back to the future for all I care. All right, John Travolta, boom. Wow. There you go, Jamie. Uh, Mojo Blue. That is a young John Travolta, 8 of 12, our first Travolta. Jackson Auto does bring big money, I bet. I've never seen a Samuel L. Jackson Auto in any, in any display case at any card show that I can remember. Thomas of the Olsen Twins up next. Thomas O.L.S. I don't think I'm going to eat dinner tonight because of the honey boo-boo. I think I'm going to fast. Yeah. I think I'm going to fast. Big hit there, Jamie. What a box, man. What a box. Back to the future. What are we talking about now? John Travolta. We're talking about Thomas O.L.S. Oh, you said what a box, and I thought maybe you had some inside information or something. What a box. Okay. It was a good box. Yeah. All right, box five for Tom. Box five. This is fun. Except for one part. All right. Some of these cards coming out of the top loaders. All right, got to cut auto. We'll do that last. This is Heather Thomas. She was something back in her day. I like the autograph. Nice auto. That's what I'm looking at, the auto. That's I'm looking right at the auto. For sure what you're looking right at. Right at the auto. Yeah. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, five, or excuse me, eight of eight. Double eight. Double eight. Whatever that means. Double eight. Heather Thomas. Let me look her up. You know how many Heather Thomases there probably are in the world? Heather Thomas. American actress. She came up first. Author, actress, political activist. Uh, starred as Jody Banks on TV series The Fall Guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, and we've got Carmen Electra. Boom. Looking at the auto again. Very nice auto. Like that. Like how she did the the E. Yeah. Right. Nice auto. <laughs> Love the auto. Sixteen and twenty. <laughs> Carmen Electra. And this may be. Is this our best box? This may be our best box. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Maybe not. Let us see it. Sylvester Stallone. Whoa. Man, I think his stuff brings a lot. Perfectly cast, especially in the boxing picture. That's a big card. Tell me I'm wrong. Sylvester Stallone autos, I have looked for them in the vault in the past, and they all are four digits. One of one slide. Wow. And I think that's from the first Rocky. That's insane. Uh, you may want to upgrade your shipping. Is this Thomas? It's Thomas. Thomas, you may want to upgrade your shipping on this. Send us an email. We'll send you a shipping quote. Uh, 
and you could pay for upgraded shipping. This is insane. One on one. I'm assuming that's a. Uh, I thought it would be a gold crystal. I'm assuming the silver crystal is is the one on one. Jamie thinks a thousand bucks for a one. I would think it would be even more. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't Leaf I was looking at. Maybe it was other brands that was well, just huge money. All right, and we've got uh, Stevie Van Zant. Stevie Van Zant. Van Zant Brothers, part of a band, right? Is that right? Stevie Van Zant. Let me look. Cut auto. ZZ Top? No? No, he's in the E Street Band. E Street Band for Bruce Springsteen. Okay. Bell has been rung. Yo, you like Honey Boo Boo better than the Sly Stallone? I don't blame you. All right, uh, next up, we've got uh, Jamie again. God, what a nice Stallone. This case is better than the last one, I feel like. Although the last one had some good good hits. Had a 101 Charlie Sheen. Yeah, he's also in The Sopranos, that's right. Did he pass away? No, I, I'm serious. Did, did Van Zant pass away? I feel like he did. Jamie's taking 11. All yeah. right, box 11. Like a one of one kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, let's stand. This will be the last box remaining. Stand that up. Stallone, other uh, one of ones go for five to 600. I'm probably wrong. I just remember, maybe it was a year or two ago, trying to put a Sly Stallone auto in the vault. And I found some sort of Rocky card that he had signed. And like the last one had sold for a couple thousand. Maybe it was more of a licensed thing. Very cool. I'm probably off on it, but I, I don't know that we've pulled a Sylvester Stallone before. That's probably our first. And maybe he's signing more now than he was when I was looking two years ago. All right, we've got Rain Wilson. Let it rain. Two of four. Rain Wilson. Uh, piece of cloth there. Let me look up Rain. I don't really know. Rain Wilson, American actor, comedian, podcaster, writer. Uh, he was on The Office. Best supporting actor on The Office. And we've got Paul Johansson. He looks really angry. Paul Johansson, Mojo Silver. Hmm. Five of 15. I don't know these people. Who are these people? American Canadian actor. Best known for playing Dan Scott on the CWWB series One Tree Hill. Hmm. And he was in Highlander briefly. Uh, he probably got... You know. All right, and we've got knockouts. There you go, George. That's an easy font to read. Go ahead. B A R T O N. No, don't spell it. Just tell Martin. me the name. Barton. Mar Mark. <laughs> Martin. Barking at me? Barton. Mesia Barton? Sure. Mesia Barton? Could be. Me see Bar. I'm glad you got Barton. That was pretty good. I'll give you credit there. Yeah. Me see a Barton. Uh, British-born American uh, film, television, stage actress. Starred in Twelve Dreams at New York's Lincoln Center. Uh, she doesn't ring a bell to me. She does not look familiar either. All right, we've got uh, that is Bonnie Wright. Perfectly cast. Is this the Harry Potter thing we got going on here? Uh, one out of ten is listed for eight hundred. Not sold on the uh, sliced alone. Six of ten. Hey, you can get some people fighting over that one on one though. You get a couple bidders fighting over that. It could go crazy. Bonnie Wright. Harry Potter. She is a uh, Jenny Weasley. Is that right? 
Harry Potter. All right. Last but not least, did we save the best for last? I don't know. Already pulled Honey Boo Boo, so probably not. Calvin, we are going to get you this box. Calvin was actually the last one to get a spot as well and got last in uh, draft order, so nice guys finish last. Thanks, and Calvin. You got a 12 box, right? And no, uh, I think somebody already picked 12, so okay. you're getting uh, box 10. Well, never mind. Box 10. What I said made no sense whatsoever. No, George, you? No. We're going to have a comp on a honey boo-boo. We're going to have a comp on a honey boo-boo. All right, we have another ticket. A little bit more modern on the ticket this time. All right, and we've got Melissa Joan Hart. She'll explain it all to you. Clarissa will explain it all to you. Melissa Joan Hart, four of six. Four of six. I like me some Melissa Joan Hart. We've got Ali Sheedy uh, from the Breakfast Club, I believe. She was the uh, troublemaker. A little goth, a little, uh, little off. Great movie, The Breakfast Club. 15 of 15. If you lived at any part of the 80s and you haven't watched The Breakfast Club, you're just not living. You're not living. Would I rather have a Sly Stallone or Charlie Sheen 101? I'm probably a bigger Stallone fan, maybe. I would, I would probably go Stallone for me, but that's tough. I think more people would choose Sheen, maybe. All right. Daisy Ridley. Boom. I think this is a 101. Star Wars fans, unite. This ain't cheap. 101 Daisy Ridley. And our first Daisy Ridley auto. Man, how about the one on ones in that case? Did she play Ray? Yeah. Man, big hit there. All right, and we've got Daughtry, Chris Daughtry. Uh, that is from uh, 2018 at the Casino Ballroom. Where is that located? I don't guess it says. Ticket to the show, Daughtry. Hmm. Guy's got some pipes, man. He could sing. Chris Daughtry, American Idol. I don't think he won. I think he got like fourth. But he showed them. He's more successful than most of the winners. All right. Um, that was the break. Hit the thumbs up button. Um, leave a comment about Honey Boo Boo. Let us know what you think. And uh, I, I'm dead serious. All right. DynastyBreaks.com. Our Monday breaks are listed. Wednesday is not listed yet. We should have new pristine baseball from Tops and new Luminance football from Panini next Wednesday. So be looking for me to list those probably Sunday afternoon. God bless. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll be right back to say goodnight.